So, hi guys! Our topic is about self-contradiction. So, this is a part of the topic with regards to logic statements. So, dito, ang tawag sa statement ngayon na topic natin ay self-contradiction statement. Meaning, a statement that is always false. Meaning, at the end of the truth table na gagawin natin, dapat yung lalabas doon ay lahat ng statement ay lalabas na as false. So, walang true na dapat lalabas, dapat false. Kung yung tautology, lahat ng lalabas ay true, nakabalikta rin sa self-contradiction, lahat ngayon ay false. So, if you want to learn on how to construct a truth table for tautology, just click the link that will appear on your screen. So, meron tayong three exercises na gagawin or three types of symbolic statement na gagawa ng truth table for self-contradiction statement. So, let's read the instruction. Ang sabi dito, Use a truth table to determine whether the given statement is a self-contradiction. So, ibig sabihin kailangan ang lalabas dito sa ating truth table, yung truth value nito ng statement ay lahat ay false. So, for number one, meron tayong statement na negation of P or not P. So, ito yung statement natin. Meron tayong isang type of statement lang, which is statement P. Yung negation P, P pa rin yan. So, it's considered to be as one statement kasi same lang yan sila na P and P. So, meaning yung number of rows na meron tayo ay dalawa kasi ba diba, yung formula natin, 2 raised to N. ba diba, sa truth table, ganito yung pag-determine kung ilang rows meron ang isang compound statement. ba diba, yung formula is 2 raised to N. Meaning ng N kung ilang statement ba. So, meron tayong P lang. Kin ang kinoconsider lang sa N kung anong letter. Kung pareho yung letter mismo, which is this one, P, at saka not P, P lang yan, isang, isang statement lang yan. Isang klase ng statement. So, ibig sabihin, 2 raised to N magiging 2 raised to 1, which is equals to 2. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong dalawang rows. Kaya, meron tayong true at saka false lang. So, since meron na tayong true and false, nasinulat ko na dito sa truth table kung ano yung Paano yung arrangement ng ating truth table? So, yung mauuna muna, yung nilagay ko dito, which is not P. Kasi may given tayo na not P. So, ibig sabihin, negation ng statement P. na yung negation ng first statement P, nakalagay kasi dito ay true. So, yung negation niya ay false. So, next, ang negation ng false magiging true. Since meron tayong statement na nasa loob ng parenthesis at nasa labas naman yung negation, unahin muna natin itong nasa loob ng parenthesis, which is P or not P. So, meron tayong connective na ginamit, which is or. This one is or. Now, kung matatandaan nyo, yung or, kailangan at least may isang true dito sa given statement na to. Pag may isang true, mako-consider na yun as true yung full statement. Now, kapag walang true, false yung statement. So, unahin muna natin tong first na statement, which is meron tayong yung P natin ay true. Tapos, yung not P naman natin ay false. So, this one is a true statement. Kasi may isang true nga. Now, for this one naman, meron tayong false at saka true. This one is also true statement. Kasi may isang true. Okay, since tapos na tayo sa loob ng parenthesis, lalabas na tayo, which is consider na yung negation. Ibig sabihin nito, ng negation na nasa labas, negation ng statement na nasa loob ng parenthesis meaning yung basis natin ay ito, itong pang third column so since ito yung basis natin kukunin lang natin yung negation na itong dalawang statement na to which is this one, true at saka true now, ano yung negation ng true, di ba? false yung negation naman ng next statement which is true false pa rin so meaning, itong number one na symbolic statement ay Self-contradiction kasi lumabas na yung whole statement mismo which is the negation of P or not P ay both false. Yung dalawang rows natin ay false yung, yung statement. So meaning this is a self-contradiction statement. For our next statement, meron tayong given for number 2 which is P, N, not P, N, Q. So, yung ginamit, kung mapapansin nyo, yung ginamit natin dito o yung statement dito ay mayroong dalawang connective na N. N yung ginamit. This one is N. 
Okay, di ba meron tayong statement, meron tayong dalawang statement, dalawang type of statements. Meron tayong P at saka Q. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong 2 raised to N. Meron tayong 2. Yung N naman ay dalawa, which is P at saka Q. So, 2 raised to 2, which is 4. So, meron tayong 4 rows, 4 number of rows. Kaya, ito na yung true, true, false, false. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, meron tayong apat na rows. Okay, since meron tayong negation of P na given sa ating statement, kaya sinulat ko muna yung negation of P and then kasunod na yung mga nasa loob, yung after na yung nasa loob ng mga parentheses. So, first things first, kukunin muna natin yung negation ng P. First statement ay true. So, yung negation niya ay false. Now, next, we have our statement true, kaya false pa rin ang negation. Next naman ay false, kaya magiging true ang negation for P. Last, last one ay yung false na statement, which is true ang negation. Okay, since tapos na tayo sa negation of P, let's consider yung nasa loob ng parenthesis mismo, which is the not P and Q. So, remember, this one is N. N to siya. So, meaning, kailangan yung statement both true para maging true yung statement. Maging true yung not P and Q. Given dito ay not P and Q, ang basis natin ay itong nasa second column at saka itong Q na nasa first column. So, kailangan true silang dalawa para maging true yung sulat natin dito. Now, since yung first statement natin ay false at saka true, meaning this statement is false. For next statement, meron tayong false at saka false. So, false pa rin. Now, for third statement, meron tayong true or dalawang true. So, meaning true itong statement. Last one, meron tayong true at saka false. So, this one is considered to be false also. Kasi nga, dapat dalawang true para maging true dito. Kasi N yung connective na gamit natin. Okay, since tapos na tayo sa loob ng parenthesis, sa labas naman tayo. Or, ibig sabihin, kasali na yung P mismo na nasa labas. At saka yung ginamit na connective ngayon ay same pa rin, which is N. So, yung whole statement mismo, which is P and not P or NQ, kukunin na natin yung truth value ng statement na to. Na dapat, yung lalabas dito na truth value, lahat dito dapat ay false para maging self-contradiction yung number 2 statement. Okay, nakuha na natin yung truth value ng nasa loob ng parenthesis, which is this one, yung nasa third column. Na ibig sabihin, kasi ito yung basehan natin at saka yung truth value ng P. Yung P na nasa first column at saka yung nasa loob ng parenthesis na nasa third column ang basis natin para makuha yung truth value for this statement. Yung number one statement natin ay true at saka false. Now remember this one, yung connective na gamit natin ay N, same sa yung nasa third column. Yung N yung ginamit natin, kailangan dalawang true para maging true yung statement. Now since yung first statement natin ay true at saka false, meaning this one is considered to be false. Now, next, meron tayong true at saka false again. So, ibig sabihin, false pa rin to. For third statement, meron tayong false at saka true. So, this one is also false. Kasi dapat true para maging true yung statement. Now, since may false, so false pa rin yan. For last one, meron tayong false at saka false. So, dalawang false. Meaning, this statement is also false. So, if you notice, meron tayong apat na false statement. Kahit pa iba iba yung truth value per statement o yung P at saka yung nasa loob ng parenthesis false pa rin yung as a whole truth value of the number 2 symbolic statement. So meaning number 2 is a self-contradiction statement. For our last statement for this tutorial we have negation of the statement P or Q or not P or Q. Medyo mahaba yung statement ngayon, pero meron lang tayong given na dalawang type of statement. Meron tayong P at saka Q na statement. So, dalawa lang. So, ibig sabihin, meron din tayong 4 rows. Kasi 2 raised to 2 is 4. But 2 raised to 2 is 4. So, meron tayong apat na rows, which is this one. 1, 2, 3, and 4 na rows. So, true, true, false, false for P. True, false, true, false for Q naman. Okay, sinulat ko na dito yung table o yung 
column for negation of P. Since meron tayong given na not P or negation of P. So, kunin muna natin yung negation niya. So, for first statement, meron tayong true. Kaya yung negation niya ay false. Next naman, true. So, magiging false ang negation. So, third statement ay false. So, true, yung, true ang negation niya. Now, this one ay true, true pa rin kasi false yung uh, P. Since we have a statement na may parenthesis at saka bracket, uunahin muna natin yung sa loob mismo ng parenthesis. So, yung first na i-consider natin na nasa loob ng parenthesis itong P or Q na statement. So, this one, ang given ay or. So, kailangan at least may isang true para yung statement makonsider as true statement. Now, yung basehan natin o yung basis natin ay yung P at saka yung Q, yung first column mismo. Okay, yung first column, meron tayong true at saka true. So, the statement is true. Now, true at saka false. So, true pa rin yan kasi may isang true nga kasi or yung connective natin. Na pang third statement, meron tayong false at saka true which is also true. Kasi may isang true. Na yung last statement, dalawang false. So, ibig sabihin, false din ang statement. So, yung next statement na nasa loob ng parenthesis naman ay yung not P or Q. So, yung negation ng P at saka Q. Which is the, this one, yung nasa second column at saka itong Q. Ito yung basis natin. Now, yung tandaan, yung ginamit natin o yung connective na given sa atin ay or. Or pa rin. So, kailangan at least may isang true para yung whole statement ay considered to be a true statement. Now, yung first natin na statement ay false at saka true. Meaning, this one is true also. Kasi may isang true. And next, meron tayong dalawang false. So, ibig sabihin false din to. Now, this one, yung third statement, meron tayong dalawang true which is also true. Now, for last one, meron tayong true at saka false. So, true pa rin yan kasi nga may isang given na true statement. So, since nakuha na natin yung truth value ng dalawang parenthesis, which is this one and this one, so, pwede na natin i-consider yung nasa loob, yung whole, as a whole mismo sila. Yung magkasabay na sila, yung nasa loob mismo ng bracket. So, sinulat ko na dito which is eto na, P or Q or not P or Q. So, dito yung connective na ginamit ay or. So, this, ito lang i-consider natin yung, isang, yung or na nasa gitna nila kasi nakuha na natin yung truth value ng P or Q at saka not P or Q. So, ibig sabihin yung basehan natin or yung basis natin is itong pang third at saka fourth column. This one at saka ito. So, ito yung basis natin. So, kailangan at least may isang true para makonsider as true yung ilalagay natin na truth value dito. Yung first statement ay dalawang true. So, ibig sabihin true to. True yung statement. Na ito naman, true at saka false. So, this one is also true statement kasi may isang true. Na for number 3, meron tayong dalawang true. So, of course, this one is also true. Yung last statement, meron tayong false at saka true. So, true pa rin to kasi may isang true nga na given. Okay, nakuha na natin yung truth value ng nasa loob ng bracket mismo. Na yung nasa labas ng bracket ay ang negation lang, yung negation symbol. Ang ibig sabihin nito, kukunin natin yung negation ng truth value ng nasa loob ng bracket. So, di ba yung nasa loob ng bracket, nakuha na natin yung truth value niya, which is this one, true, 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 at saka true. So, apat na true. Yung last na column natin sa ating truth table, yung whole statement na mismo, which is eto na, negation of P or Q or not P or Q. Okay, since nakuha na natin yung nasa loob ng bracket, negation na lang yung kukunin natin. So, ibig sabihin, kukunin natin yung opposite ng apat na statement na to. As since yung nakuha natin na truth value sa loob ng bracket ay lahat ay true, ibig sabihin yung negation nila ay lahat naman ay false. False yung lahat ng negation niya kasi yun yung opposite ng true, which is false. So, since apat na true to, so yung negation niya ay apat din na false. Which means that the number three symbolic statement na given sa atin ay a self-contradiction statement. So, that's it for our self-contradiction statement tutorial. I hope you've learned something from this video. Thank you for watching!